Hello everyone, Hello. it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome to House of a Thousand Doors Family Secrets. Now this game is in a series of other games along the House of a Thousand Doors uh, title. I've never played this this line of games. I'm not sure what's going on, but this game does have horror elements. It's a hidden objects hidden object game and I'm really looking forward to it. It looks very pretty. So let's get started. Okay, so we just saw, okay, uh, first thing to note is that n you don't often see hidden object games with cutscenes like that, and that was really well done. And the second thing is, I would I would have a lot of questions if uh, randomly late at night a package just showed up on my front door. Uh, okay, but let's get going. Uh, let's see, click on the parcel, take a close look at it. Can't untie the knot. Should I cut the string? Okay. Oh, there's a knife. It's a nice looking knife. Okay. Cut. Oh! That is a very nice typewriter. Oh, we got something on our journal. Parcel. I fell asleep at my table again. I've been doing that a lot lately. I need to stop worrying so much and start sleeping at night. A knock on my door woke me up. When I looked outside, I found a package. The typewriter. The package contained a typewriter. I've never seen one like it. I wonder what will happen when I wind it up. Who came with such an odd way of sending a message? Okay. Wind up typewriter. Mm. It's a hit button, but I want to look at this. It's a wind up typewriter. I've never seen anything like it. What will it type when I wind it up? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh, we need paper. Okay, they want me to. We're going through the tutorial, so. He wants us to use all the buttons. Okay. My first novel earned me this honor. A lot of years have passed since then, but I've been unable to repeat my original success. That's pretty common for writers. And the golden feather of the. <laughs> philology department goes to Kate Reed. Okay, so we are Miss Reed, Kate Reed, for her outstanding work in supernatural fiction. Okay. But we are... Okay. Golden Feather. Okay. Paper. Ink. Anything else? No. Okay. Usually, with other games, if there's nothing else in the in the scene, um, they'll automatically X out of it. Huh. Special key in order to open the case. The 
that that work? Oh, yes it does. Ah, more stuff. Tweezers? Anything else? No. Okay. Put the paper in here. Again, I have no idea what's going on. Of course, we're, we've ju we're only a few minutes in. So we will see what's going on. Wind it again. Oh, it needs ink. <laughs> Depleted ribbon. Ribbon. And we use the tweezers. There we go. I'm going through this very quickly. Now, let's wind it up. Ah, we got something. Dear Kate, we'd like to invite you to our classes at the School of Spiritism. You will not only have a chance to meet a famous medium, but also to see ghosts. Come to the Plaza Hotel, room 328, at 10 p.m. Gabriel Jones. Okay. That is... Interesting. I can't believe I'm going to see an actual seance. I've been dreaming of this all my life. I hope they're not a bunch of frauds. I'd be so disappointed. I would be too. Considering the look of that car, we are definitely not in modern times. Again, this game is so pretty. I hate being late, but the other guests have already arrived and are sitting around the table. They look like they're in a trance. Oh, oh, that is that is creepy. You guys see that? Okay, so got here the invitation. When I wound up the type, when I wound up the typewriter, it taped or tapped. Tapped out an invitation to a seance. I've been dreaming all my life of attending one. I hope I won't be disappointed. I'm wondering why the host invited me, a washed up novelist. We are about to find out. Okay. We're just gonna look through. That is a Ouija board. That's a pendulum. And that's a club. Okay. Those are tarot cards. Will I learn how to use them? Ah, we can actually look at stuff. The magic board is the most common means of speaking with ghosts. I've never seen someone use one. That's a crystal pendulum. People use them in seances. The heroine in one of, her, in one of my novels used one. It's really cool that we can actually... The character actually has commentary for the items. Those are fortune telling dice. I, I once saw voodoo priests in Haiti use them. Okay. That's a copy of The Visionary, my only bestseller. Maybe the owner of this house sent me an invitation because he liked my book. Okay. Oh. Heart is missing. Diamond's missing. Okay. We have the club. There we go. We're just... Just going through everybody's stuff. Oh, that looks like someone's cane. Frauds use stone like those during fake seances. I guess Mr. Gabriel's school of spiritism is just another sham. Those are runes. Mr. Gabriel's school of spiritism. A school of spiritism? What a strange idea. I never knew one could learn supernatural skills. Perhaps I can learn to speak with ghosts. Locked. Okay. 
Don't know what the cane is for. Still is really creepy back there. Okay. The hawk symbolizes purpose. My purpose is to continue this adventure and collect material for a new book. Okay. Let's continue! Ooh. What happened to these people? They look like wax figures. Are they really in a trance or are they pretending? Okay, there's the spade. Tarot cards. That's something new. Frauds or the real thing? When I arrived, everyone else was already here. I don't know if they're in a trance or just pretending to be out of it. Also, I found a brochure for the School of Spiritism, headed by Mr. Gabriel. I believe he's the one who sent me the type who sent the typewriter to me. I want to cut the wire going to the crystal ball to see if the ball continues to glow. I don't see a wire. Ruins, tarot cards, and other occult odds and ends. They're probably just props in this play. A crystal ball is glowing. It probably has a little light bulb inside of it. The best way to confirm my suspicion is to cut the power supply. The magic board is rigged! And that wire goes to the crystal ball. These people are frauds! Okay, so there's a wire. Did we get something new? No, we didn't. Okay. Okay. Ghosts and spirits exist, but not in this place. Ladies and gentlemen, please drop the, fa the facade. Okay. Moving the cards. There's a key. go here okay there's the heart more evidence that this is a fake seance how disappointing there's a heart spade we just need the diamond now and we need something to cut I like the music, if you guys are hearing that in the background. 30 years ago, this hotel was as shiny as a new penny. Now everything is faded and dull. Only those paintings serve as a reminder of the glorious past. Who wears frock coats and top hats anymore? No one. Even when they're top of the line. That's a nice looking top hat. Now, there's a lot of description in this game. I'm not sure if I'm going to read all of it since she has commentary for literally everything. Okay. So let me see. Mm. Oh, okay. So that cane was gravel. I was just looking and clicking wherever it could be used, and we got something. We got the diamond! Okay. And I just noticed this black cat staring at us right here. Oh, kitty! On oh, it purrs. <laughs> Diamond. Are there scissors in there? Yes! Pyramid just like that one. See, she has... Um commentary for everything and I don't think I'm going to read everything. Another crystal ball is probably broken. I'm going to turn off the other one too. Even though this explains a lot of lore, it's a lot of talking and I don't want to just fill these episodes with just me 
reading a descri- bunch of descriptions. It's kind of like the same case if you guys saw the series uh, Bear With Me. I did that. The, char- the main character has literally has something to say about every single item in each room. And I started, um, click, and the character, the characters are voice acted, they have voiceovers, but I didn't want to just fill the, the episode with talking and not progression. Let's see. But it cut the wire. Oh, did we do the bad? Hello, Kate. Oh! I'm your grandmother, Maggie Fox. I'm so happy you can hear me. Please, help me. My spirit body is unstable, so listen closely and remember everything I say. There is a haunted house that materializes in different places around the world at different times. It vanishes soon after it appears. Many people have seen it, but few have been able to enter it. The house will appear at midnight on Badlow Island. Go there and get inside to restore the good name of me and my sisters. Whoa. Some locations contain hidden beyond objects, but for houses that are always changing appearance, try to find all 35 beyond objects hidden throughout the game. Okay. Oh. There we go. Hey, okay, I probably won't be able to find all of those. We have a map. That's good. Oh, this place is huge. It's gonna be a long series, ladies and gentlemen. The first ghost. I'm speechless. Ghosts don't just live in my imagination. They actually exist. I met my dead grandmother. She told me how the people of her town accused her of charlatism. Charlatanism. The humiliation was more than she could bear, and she died of a heart attack. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to talk with her again. She did tell me about a haunted house that will appear at midnight tonight on Batlow Island. The house exists. The house materialized right in front of me, just like Granny said it would. Granny said it would. I wish the Jersey Daily had been here to witness it. I'm not the only one who can see the house. Okay, so her last name was Fox, and that is a bit of lore. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the Fox sisters, uh, during the 1800s or during the 19th century, um, the Fox sisters, they did what's called spirit rapping. And they would go around to different towns across the country and did uh, spirit rapping. And it was pretty much like seances and they would interpret what the spirits were saying through knocks. Um, that they would hear that the spirits would create in reality it was all a fraud the Fox sisters publicly admitted that they were able to pop their toes kind of like when you pop your knuckles they were able to um, pop and crack their toes to make the knocks that the people were hearing and that pretty much brought a lot of shame to their name and um, you know and, and, and that also brought a bad name to the paranormal community during that time, and it uh, helped the case of many um, skeptics that paranormal experiences were, they just didn't really exist. Um, But I guess they're playing it up on that to where we're trying to find evidence that the paranormal does exist, and yes, we do have to rush into this house, (laughs) but um, trying to find evidence that the paranormal does exist and to prove that, yeah, the Fox sisters did the spirit rapping, uh, and that that wasn't true, but spirits do exist, and the Fox sisters were not wrong. So, Let's see, it's a portrait. 
stuff in here. What is in here? That's a bone. Okay. Cut back the bushes. Can we push them back? Or okay. Missing puzzle piece. Okay. Let's go back. Door knocker. Okay. Oh. Lighter. Missing a lantern. Oh, there's a knocker. Okay, put it on the door. Knock, knock! Here we go! Here I am inside the house. It's dark! I need a light so I can look around. We have a lighter. I'm trying to light them. Oh, fuse. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh. Glittering areas or hidden object scenes. Let's go. There's a lot of things on this sofa. Vandalizing the sofa. <laughs> Are those flies? You see the little dots flying around, right? Oh, didn't expect that. There's the awl. If you guys don't know what an awl is, it is a tool used to punch holes into material, specifically thick material like leather. There's the bolt. Now we just need the cross. That it? Yep. Okay, we have a book. Oh, I just clicked that side accidentally. Okay. Uh, oh! This piece is missing. We don't have a piece. It's a portrait of the alchemist Paracelsus. How is he related to his house? I probably butchered that name. Okay, one of them. Looks like it's alive. Oh. Okay. So, this is an interesting... Uh, game so far and we will stop here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!